you, Jamie. This story is as old as, as, old as time. Uh, you have a politician who does certain things. Those actions benefit his family financially, and then there's an effort to sweep it all under the rug. And we know this has happened. The best example is to use the Ukrainian energy company Burisma. Four key facts. Hunter Biden gets put on the board of Burisma, fact number one. Fact number two, he's not qualified to be on the board. He said so himself in an ABC interview. He said he got the job because of his last name. Fact number three, the executives at Burisma ask Hunter Biden specifically, will you weigh in with folks in D.C. to help us deal with the pressure we are under? A few days later, Joe Biden gets on a plane, flies to Kyiv, and announces that you will not get the money that was already approved unless you fire the prosecutor who was applying the pressure. That all happens. That all happens. Those key facts happen. And those facts are confirmed by some of the evidence we've uncovered already, already this 1023 form, where the confidential human source told the FBI and it was recorded in this form. That, those are the key facts. And now it's important. We got a lot of those key facts when we interviewed one of Hunter Biden's business partners, Mr. Archer. It's important we talk to the others. We need to talk to Eric Schwerman. We need to talk to Rob Walker. We need to talk to Tony Bobolinsky. And we are in conversations with their lawyers, and we think those are going to happen. And we need to talk to Jim Biden, who was also in business with Hunter Biden. Those things need to happen. And then, as the chairman just said, as Chairman Comer just said, we will uh, have Hunter Biden in a deposition and, frankly, I think in, a, in an open hearing. I think that would, be, that would be great. That's what needs to happen so the American people get the facts, get the truth and we can make a decision on how we move forward as a conference.